a girl like me. We are so beautiful as well as charming. The girls like me. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about me. Just look in the mirror. You will see the girls like me. We are princesses growing into queens. The girls like me are images all over the universe. The girls like me, we are so beautiful as well as charming. The girls like me, just look in the mirror, you will see. The girls like me, the girls like you, you are a princess growing into a queen. The girls like me, just look in the mirror, you will see. The girls like me, I'm talking about you, I'm talking about me. Our images all over the universe. The girls like me. Out of a wonder. Warrior princess, been blessed, been tested, but ain't been bested. We double your investments in all that you've been blessed with. Maybe you fine as may wine, and that's why I cherish your mind, cherish the thoughts your mind, cherish the fact that together we gon' see plenty of sunshine. So let's use it. You my muse, inspire me to provide this divine healing music. And when we reminisce on grandkids and moments we sing to this love of bits, high of loving gazes and the love that we drink. Never sweating them hard times, have to struggle to think. Piece the pieces to the puzzle. The bubble like bubble tea and work the purpose to the surface to everything lovely. This is prayer to strength and kin. We tune this deep within. He birthed the perfect joy, peace that free me deep within. A breath of life for the life to let me breathe again. Have you ever in your long legged life you see me? These brothers put it down for the city to scream. Have you ever in your long legged life you see me? Put your heart and your mind on the serious thing. Have you ever in your long legged life you see me? These brothers work the job like it's GOT. Have you ever in your long legged life to see? Specifically Atlantic Pacific canoe to you In lieu of you orbiting my mind like a loop-de-loop Simply the imagined view of you Sip my juices through the roof Yo, I'm in true pursuit Leaving me too seduces The effect you produce Your neck that drew me to you True voodoo Do to you omitting this forbidden sensation That got me spitting what's bitten by the dude you do Ever in your life, ever in your life Ever in your life, ever in your life Ever in your life, ever in your life For your heart and mind Hi, I'm Tiana Tamara Townsell. You can call me TT for short. And this is a day in the life of a beauty queen. We're back. This homecoming video is for my cousin Latia, who's transitioning from chemically relaxed hair to her natural beautiful texture and want some advice on how to do it. So I decided to make this video for her and for all of you out there who are transitioning as well and need some help. So this is the style that she has in mind for herself. Now I'm going to help her to create this style. There's many options. Natural hair is very versatile. Twists are the style that my hair is in right now. The front of my hair is twisted. Now, it does look very different from this mannequin and her twist. And the reason is, is because I'm all natural. So your twist may look more like these twists. Twists are a great style to transition in because you can camouflage the texture of your natural hair as well as the chemically processed hair. Now I'll show you later in this video how to create twists. It's actually very easy. One of the first styles I learned and I used it a lot during my transitioning. The best thing about twists are that you can have a beautiful twist out after. So to do the twist out you simply untwist the hair and it gives you a beautiful wavy texture like this. 
what you could do when wearing twists is wear them for two weeks and take them down, wear the twist out for one week, and then redo the hair. Or you can wear it for one week, take it down for the next week, and switch it up throughout the month. You've kind of got to test it out to see how your hair reacts, how long it holds, and what you want to do for your decision. My hair holds a while. I can wear my twists in for two weeks. I used to take them out and have a twist out. I don't really do the twist out style anymore, but it is certainly still an option for me. Another thing that I want to mention with the twist is sometimes as your natural hair grows out, you can see the texture difference. It's not real obvious. It's just that the twist gets skinny towards the ends. So what you can do to overcome this is roll the hair up in rollers or you can use um, paper bag ro rollers or whatever you decide. And then the curl in the hair will also camouflage the skinniness of the twist of your relaxed hair. Now another option that you have during your transitioning days, and this one is my favorite for you, is to braid the top of your hair and let your chemically processed hair remain straight. I think this would be really good for you based off of what you told me on how you want your hair, which is hopefully similar to the picture. So what you do is just braid the top, let your hair go straight, and then you can straighten this and curl it under or do however you usually like to do with your processed hair. As it grows out, you can just latch the top, and so it can become locked or long-term braids, which is how I have the back of my hair. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. The last option that I wanted to show you for your transitioning journey is this one, to braid all of the hair all the way down. Just have your hair braided in single braids. As it grows out, latch it into either locks or long-term braids. I'm not sure which direction that you wanted to go. If you wanted to have locks, or if you just wanted to grow your natural hair out and wear it in different styles, like braids, twists, afro, afro puffs, and just play with it and get to know your texture. Now that decision is up to you to make. Either way you go, you're going to have a lot of fun with your natural hair. Now I'll go into showing you how to create some of these transitioning styles. So to create the twist, you first section the hair. I like to start from back to front. So some of these I've done already, but I just wanted to show you how to do it. So you would section the hair, and I use a clip to go ahead and get that out of the way. So with the back here, what we sectioned off, we now want to divide this again. Now I like to do these by hand, meaning I don't use a comb. I just kind of grab, I pinch sections of my hair like this to get them consistent in nature. The only parts that I do use a comb with is when I'm parting here and the front. That way it looks even, but most of the hair, I just part along and then grab it and go. So we'll go with this section and you just split it in two, two parts. Now this is called a two strand twist. And you just twist the hair. See how I'm doing? Have it in two hands. Grab under, so grab this side, and twist, and then pull to tighten, but don't tighten too much. And don't worry about doing the twist too tightly, because it's going to unravel at the end, but don't hurt your head or anything. So then you grab this and twist. So it's just crossing it over, and you just keep doing it and keep tugs a little bit, but not too hard so that it can be tight, and you just keep doing it all the way until you get to the end. Let's 
So you're just twisting the hair around each other. And you want to do this all the way to the very end of the hair. Once you get to the very end, see here I still got little pieces left that I'm twisting. And once I get to the end, I'm going to hold it so I put it together, both strands together, and pinch the ends and slowly let it unroll while I'm still pinching the end. And this is just going to let the hair naturally unroll and then you let it go. And it's going to create this twist. So now we're going to do the other half. So we have the hair. It's about a pinch, so that's the, the width that we want it for consistency. Going to divide it in half. Got the two parts, and then just twist one over the other. Twist and make it snug. And you're just going to keep doing this. one over the other and twist. And once again, we're going to do it all the way to the very end of the hair. And if you run out of strands, so maybe you have a little on this end and a little more on this end and you're going to run out, it's fine to just divide the one you have more of, add it to the one with less and keep twisting. And then at, when we're at the end, we're going to pinch it and slowly unroll it while we're still pinching the end. We don't want it to come apart. We just want it to loosen up a little bit. There's a little strand that got caught in there. And then release. And your hair will kind of unroll itself a little bit on the end. But because we pinched the very end of the hair, it's not going to come loose. So I wanted to show you more about what I meant by not using a comb and just parting as I go. So we did this section already. So what I would do is, you know, once I comb out this hair and condition it, I'm ready for my next area for the twist. I just use my finger and make a part and separate the hair. Then I would clip this side and then repeat the whole thing. So now I'm sectioning this off, making it in half, getting a pinched side, and then I would continue on with the twists until the twists are finished. So we've now worn our twists for a week or two weeks and we're ready to create the twist out. So we take the twist and you're going to carefully unravel it. Start at the very tip because you do not want to knot your hair. So you're just going to use your finger to kind of just roll it, make it a little bit loose first. I, use, I like to use my nail to kind of find where the twist separates after I roll it this way. Oh, this one's really, really tight. So once you find the opening, you going to slowly just untwist it. And you want to be very careful here. The closer to the bottom that you can get the opening, the better. You want to con you want to maintain the consistency of the twist. So try to get in between the hair where it can naturally separate rather than creating fray strands. 
Then you're slowly just going to work your way up using one hand to loosen a little bit and then pulling the twists apart. You're going to make sure you go all the way to the top of the hair. Just slowly pulling the twists apart, maintaining the consistency. And sometimes you end up with three, three separate parts, because remember sometimes we had to use extra hair, and then you just move it aside. So again, we start at the very end, and just try to loosen it up, and find a natural gap in the twist. as closest to the end as possible. Sometimes you can just kind of unroll it slowly if you can't get to the end and then just break it apart. And then move your way up a little bit more and then pull. A little bit more and pull. A little bit more and separate and then get to the top. You don't want to start at the top. You may end up ripping your hair that way. So again, we start at the end, separate, and just let it come apart until you get to the top and let it come apart. And you see, you can see the beautiful wave. And then the more you do it, the more the wave Pretty soon you've got a head full of waves and that's a twist out. Now we're going to talk about how to do the braided look where we are braiding just the beginnings of the hair and then letting the rest of the processed hair be straight. So for most styles you want to start with the back including this one. So I just have sectioned a piece of the hair off. That way I can use it as an example on how to do this style. So for this one, since it is more of a precise style than twists, I would recommend using a comb to part the hair. This style is going to be more temp excuse me. This style is going to be more permanent than the twist style, so the parts do matter. So you want to make them all the same size, make them all pretty small, and what you're just going to do is braid the hair. Now, even if you haven't grown your hair out very much or it's been, hasn't been very long since your last touch up. You can still use just your own hair with this. You don't need to put extensions in. So you're just going to braid the top of your hair. So the braid is just going to be separate in three strands, and you're going to cross them over each other. So the strand on the right, you put it in the middle. Strand on the left, put it in the middle. Strand on the right, put it in the middle strand on the left, put it in the middle, and you just keep going. And you can just kind of twist your hand. So we're here, we're here, and we twist. Then we use this middle finger to grab it, and we twist. Use the middle finger or the side finger to grab it and twist. Grab, twist, grab, twist. Okay, so you're going to braid it down maybe about an inch, an inch and a half. When you have your processed hair, you may want to braid it down a little bit further because it's not going to hold like natural hair holds. So it may come loose a little bit. Once you get down far, then just let the rest go. So then you can press this, curl it, do whatever you usually do with your processed hair for this. Leave it straight, leave it crimpy, it's up to you. 
So as your hair grows out, I'll show you how to latch this. And once you start latching it, because natural hair holds braids better, you won't have to worry about it unraveling. With your processed hair, you may have to worry about it unraveling at first, but you can just keep braiding it down a little so that it's consistent. Now, if you decide to do the full braided option, you can do it the same way as you did this, this starting braid option or the, you know, one and a half to two inch braid option. You just braid all the way down, and you can do this with your hair. You don't need to add hair to it. So, you just braid it and just keep braiding it down, twist and twist twist and twist. And with this, you can also choose to curl it, give it more style. You just want to braid it all the way down with your processed hair. I would recommend that if you're doing this as a transition style, not to add extensions to it. Extensions dry out your hair and it will break the chemically altered portion of your hair, which I'm not sure if you're planning to do a big chop where you're going to cut it off anyways or you want to slowly grow it out to maintain the length. If you're planning to cut it out anyways, you may not mind the fact that your hair is breaking with the extensions. But we're focusing on healthy hair here, so I would really recommend that if you want to do this braided option, just to braid your own hair. So when you're braiding, you want to just continue to braid it all the way down to the end of the hair. Just the very last strands that you have. Just keep braiding all the way to the end. Well, I've shown you a couple ways to do the hair option of this look. The rest is up to you and the barber. Don't feel like you have to be locked into one choice. You can try them all out and see what you like best. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. And all you transitioners out there, I hope you learned how to get back to your natural roots and celebrate your beautiful hair and stay away from those harmful chemicals. I'm up for a challenge, so if anybody has a hairstyle that they absolutely love and they want to know how to do it the natural way, Send the picture my way and I'll definitely help because any style can be converted into a natural style. There is no reason to have chemicals in your hair which are going to harm you, cause alopecia and all sorts of scalp and hair problems, which we'll go into on another video. So send me your comments, tell me your thoughts, let me know what you want to see. Help me help you. Let's work together. There's no other way. Thank you for watching. And remember, knowledge is power. You see, I discovered a soothing lover, and in turn she can hurt me. Resurrected from the earth and debris to the surface of G. Everything was just rehearsed till I burst into being. For birth to be nursed to the feet by every verse that she speaks. I would have thirsted to be. Just look in the mirror, you will see the girl like me. I'm talking about nearly myself. I'm talking about <laughs> our images. Why you change your voice? You messed Stop. up. Why you change your voice? What do you mean?